We're breaking down a new Cowboys seven-round mock draft from your boy. This time, we've got trades in there because I love wheeling and dealing in the draft. I even tried more trades than what we ended up settling on here, but other, uh, the other mock draft sim, PFN, wasn't being cooperative with uh, taking my maybe unfair trade offers. If you guys want even more NFL draft videos, then type me in the comment section right now. I think that's everybody, I would hope. If so, sound off right now. All right, so notable players off the board in round one. Johnny Newton's gone to the Bengals. Buck straight up for Chop Robinson. And three players in a row, oh, I liked. Taliese Fuaga, Jackson Powers Johnson is gone. Kool-Aid McKinstry is gone. A.D. Mitchell goes to the Texans, by the way, out of Texas. But some very notable prospects on the board here uh, when I'm on the clock at pick number 24. Two good corners, Nate Wiggins, Cooper DeGene. Brian Thomas is there. I thought about that one, too. Two offensive tackles, Amarius Mims, Tyler Guyton. I would be pretty comfortable with any of those five guys, plus maybe one or two more that were on the board. And it just so happens the Raiders, who have been wheeling and dealing throughout this mock draft sim, have called, and they've made a hell of an offer. I get a first and a third round pick to, tr to trade down five spots. So I get 29 and pick number 77. I can add an impact player, and I move down five spots. I'm going to do it. That, that, that is a no-brainer for me, and I will gamble on one of the guys I still like being there. Several of them dig off the board. The Raiders jumped up for Graham Barton, which I, I, I'll, it's a sim. I was surprised by it. Cooper DeGene is off the board. Nate Wiggins is off the board. Brian Thomas goes off the board. Byron Murphy out of Texas goes off the board. That means both of my tackles are there still. Now, I will make note for before we make this pick. The Niners called at pick number uh, 31, and they wanted to jump up two spots for another top 100 pick. But a lot of my guys are gone. I don't want to risk losing another offensive lineman. So I'm going to stay pat and pick Amarius Mims out of Georgia at number 29 overall. And by the way, I was right to do that because the Ravens and Niners in this sim both took offensive linemen. So I, I would have missed on Mims and Guyton, I think, had I moved down. Mims is a raw but very gifted tackle. I think he can play left side despite only playing right tackle at Georgia. He has not played much football. We're talking barely a season's worth of college football snaps, but the size, the athletic ability, the, the traits, the stuff we've seen in a very small sample size is incredibly intriguing. So I'm going to take Mims, put him on the left side, opposite Tyler Smith. If he struggles there, or I want to give him more time and I re-sign Tyron Smith, I can always try him on the right side down the road and replace Terrence Steele with him, or replace him for Terrence Steele. Who do you want to draft in round one? Go ahead and sound off for me in the comment section right now. At the pinned comment, if the ad comes on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there and let me know. All right, round two. I will say, I was trying to jump up into this range, a couple spots to jump up for one player in particular. Uh, I, my offers were all rejected. I, I, I wasn't going to move up too much. I was trying to kind of win the deal. Uh, but Devondre Sweat's gone. Malachi Corley's gone. Edrin Cooper. Eagles got Corley, McKinstry, and Cooper. It's a pretty good haul for them. I was frankly shocked and maybe unrealistic outcome. Zach Frazier is on the board for me in round two. This is a no-brainer pick. And I, I would not be shocked if he goes 30 picks earlier than what he goes here. Uh, Frazier missed some time last year with a broken leg. It was a late game play. He broke it, and instead of making the team call timeout or having the clock run off, he crawled off the field, which coaches are going to go nutty over. This is, this is a Dan Campbell football player through and through. I think a plug-and-play option at center who can give you some more physicality, give you some toughness, and I think I fixed my offensive line and now made it a, a real strength with my first two picks here. Others on the board here. Trey Benson, Braylon Trice, Patrick Paul, Jalen Polk, and I'll trigger you by putting in a Michigan defense lineman because I'm because I'm a jerk and I'm a sick person. Uh, if I didn't go lineman in round one, Patrick Paul could stand out as a developmental left tackle option behind, in theory, Tyron Smith. 
Today's show is made possible by Game Time. If you're trying to buy tickets for a sporting event, for a comedy show, for a theater for you and your, your girl or whatever, Game Time is the place to go. If you're in the, the Dallas area, Stars tickets, pretty damn affordable still. Mavs tickets, maybe getting a bit more expensive as we move forward. But there are some deals, zone deals, flash deals, and uh, sponsored deals on tickets via Game Time, helping you save money. Plus, you can save 20 bucks by using promo code CowboysChat when you create your account and download the Game Time app. 20 bucks off your first purchase. Look, terms do apply, but create your account and redeem code C O W B O Y S C H A T for $20 off your first purchase. The link and the promo code will be in the comments and the description of today's show. Simply go to gametime.co, download the, the app, create your account. Bottom right, you'll see profile. Click it. You'll see redeem code uh, in the middle of the screen on, on the leftish side. And plug in C O W B O Y S C H A T for 20 bucks off. Into round three. Remember, I got two picks now in the third round. Bucky Irving off the board. Roman Wilson off the board. Bo Brady's a fun piece out of Maryland. Cedric Gray off the board. Thought about linebacker. Thought about running back, receiver. In the third round with an extra pick, I can be a little bit more gambly. And I'm going to take maybe the most talented linebacker in this class, off-ball-wise. That's Peyton Wilson at NC State. The film, the numbers, the metric, all of it are great except for the medical concerns. Double-digit surgeries on Wilson over his football career. That's a red flag. The Sean Lee comp is one he will not beat, as far as I'm concerned. But he's always around the football. 138 tackles. He's averaging over 10 tackles a game. A ton of TFLs, sacks, pass breakups. He's a great football player. It's the trust the medicals. It's one of those that... Your team doctor is going to make that decision for you. Others on the board. All right. Trevin Wallace is my next best linebacker. I didn't want to risk on you know, having one of those guys not get to me in the third round. So I'm going to, later on, so I'm going to jump on the, on the backer now. Michael Hall was sliding. I thought about that one. Two backs are there. Braylon Allen and Blake Corum. And Xavier Leggett was a very intriguing piece as well. If I was going to go offense, but I've gone offense heavy, I'll go defense there uh, with my first third round pick. Some other picks before I go back on the clock, 10 picks later here. Braylon Allen and Xavier Leggett and Michael Hall all go three in a row. Boom, boom, boom. Just like that, they're all gone. Tez Walker also gone. So I'm going to go with my next best running back. That's Blake Corum out of Michigan. He's not the typical size the Cowboys like. He's shorter, but a little bit thicker. But an incredibly productive runner, and I think would fit very well in this Cowboys offense. And the numbers are eye-popping. If you want someone who's got a nose for the end zone, Blake Corum's your guy. 27, 18, and 11 touchdowns the past three seasons. Uh, helps when you're the goal line back. I do have some concerns about the pass catching. Now you can pair him with, with a pass catching back. And I think we're fine. But third round, yeah, with two third round picks, I like going back here. Others on the board, again, I thought about Chris Abrams' drain out of Missouri. That'd be a fun pick for Mike Zimmer. Two other uh, back was there was Aldrich Stemi, but I don't know if the juice is there for him. I think he might be more, more of a battering ram guy. Braden Fisk was an intriguing defensive lineman. Keep an eye on Austin Booker's name as we go through the combine here. I think he could really, really impress. And Mikey Samer still was my kind of corner. Undersized, scrappy as hell, physical, nickel. Would be a great Jordan Lewis replacement, but I got too many needs right now. Speaking of needs... What do you think will end up being the bigger draft need for the Cowboys? LB or RB, linebacker, running back, sound off in the comments. No fourth round pick. And I will say, I was trying to trade up to get a wide receiver in the fifth, and I just I couldn't find a team to take it, and I was trying to trade all my seventh round picks for another sixth, and no one would take it either, so I just said, screw it, I'll keep them. Justin Aboisby is my pick here in the fifth round. Uh, it's not common... You get an undervalued Bama defensive lineman. I think we have one here. If I had just showed you these stats, 64 tackles, 12 TFLs, 7 sacks. Like, wow, that's great production. That's going to be a top 100 pick, right? He still might be. I think the value is great. He can stop the run. 
can be a good maybe like long-term Tank Lawrence replacement for you, and you need some more run-stopping pieces on your defensive line as well. So Mike Zimmer day three draft pick show here. Uh, we'll go with the, another linebacker. I do think doubling down could make a lot of sense for this team. It is out of Notre Dame, Maurice Lee Lee Fowl. Lee E. Fowl, I think it's how it's pronounced. Lee uh, Fowl. Lee, Lee uh, Fowl, that's how it is. I got the pronunciation in front of me and I'm an idiot. Uh, not the most eye popping production, but I thought was a very solid player for the Fighting Irish this past year. You're in round six, you're out to the top. Of the Remember your goals here. Your goals are depth. Maybe you get lucky every, other, every few years and find a new Deron Bland. If he can be your linebacker four and be better than Devin Harper, boom, there we go. We will have a ton of Cowboys NFL draft coverage for you right here on the channel. YouTube.com slash at Cowboys TV. Hit that sub button right now. I'm going sleeper picks here in the seventh round. Gabriel Murphy, who you uh, local Dallas fans might know from his time at North Texas, I think could profile as a sub-package pass rusher. And with two free agents, with, including Dante Fowler, that's a position you could look to. Uh, kind of every the year impact, didn't do much in his first year at Yusuf after transferring from North Texas, but 16 TFLs, eight sacks this year. That's, that's better than what he was at North Texas in his best year. And I like it when a guy transfers to a better level of competition and has more success. Again, the early mock draft sims are all, they're all kind of wonky. Uh, and I, I think we could dock off, you know, 75 picks worth, and that might be more along the lines of where Murphy ends up going or even earlier. Seventh round, Anthony Gould out of Oregon State. Again, we're at the back end of the seventh round here. This is an undersized wide receiver who brings you a different profile than what you have beyond Kevontae Turpin. Can play some slot, can offer you some speed, offers you return value. You can let Gold and Turpin fight for the special teams role, wide receiver five role, and maybe Gold brings you more uh, uh, as a receiver than Turpin has brought you so far. Again, we're in the seventh round. We're, we're just trying to take some dart throws here and see if those seventh rounders can materialize as pieces, and you might be able to get them down to the practice squad anyway. So to recap, Amarius Mims, Zach Frazier, Peyton Wilson, Blake Corum, Justin Aboigeby, uh, Notre Dame's Maurice Leah Fow, Gabriel Murphy, and Anthony Gold. Grade the mock draft for me. I think it's rigged in my favor because the mock draft sims, I can take advantage of them. I think all those guys could be gone before you're actually on the clock. But what do you think? A, B, C, D, or F, sound off in the comments section.